End-to-end -end encryption is going cross-platform. Now this is the moment that we have been waiting for and I am so excited about this news. What's up s'mores, I'm Shannon Morris and today we are diving into some really big messaging news. Apple and Google have finally teamed up to bring end-to-end -end encryption to RCS messages between iPhones and Androids. But what does this mean for you? Does this mean that green bubble judgment is gonna go away? Probably not, so what's actually going on. Well, first off, this video is sponsored by Delete Me, which is my go-to service to delete my personal info off of data broker sites. Use my coupon code SNUBS, that's S-N-U-B-S, for 20% off when you sign up. Okay, so here's the news. About two years ago, I did a video on this, we found out that Apple was going to start using a protocol for messaging called RCS, alongside their normal one, which is called iMessage. Apple's flavor of RCS was pretty different than Google Google's version that added a topping of encryption. Apple was just going to use the regular RCS protocol, but this still meant that we would finally get less issues whenever texting between iPhones and Androids. It's gotten better over the last two years for us to text each other no matter what platform that we choose, but security was still a problem. And that ends soon with this really big and exciting news. Now the GSM Association, they're called the GSM MA for short, they have just updated the RCS universal profile to officially support end-to-end -end encryption or E2EE across platforms. So that means that if you are texting your Android bestie from your iPhone using RCS, those messages will now be secure and private just like iMessage between iPhones and just like Google messages between two Android phones. It's pretty cool because even Apple put out a statement saying that they help lead this cross industry effort to bring encryption to RCS. And Google, which has been on the end-to-end -end encryption train for years, that's why they set up their own version of RCS with the end-to-end -end encryption little, you know, chocolate syrup on top of that ice cream, is also pretty pumped about this update. So what is the TLDR on RCS? What does this actually mean for your messages? And when can we expect a rollout? But first, I have two notes. Number one, I am so very aware that my friends across the pond are using WhatsApp or other third-party applications, and this is mainly just a problem for the United States. In fact, tell me down below which application you use in the comments, which one is popular in your country. And number two, we have an awesome sponsor today that is helping you get your phone number off of those sus data broker sites. Delete Me has been my go-to service to remove my information off people finder type websites for years and years. And with the onslaught, lot of those very scammy text messages that the FBI is warning everybody about right now. You know the ones, I'm sure you've heard about these in the news. They say something like, you have a toll amount due, click this little phishing link so we can steal your credit card information. Yeah, those ones. It's crucial to protect your phone number as much as possible. So Delete Me specializes in removing your personal information from data broker sites that often share your contact details with telemarketers and scammers. By opting out on your behalf, Delete Me helps reduce the amount of sites that post your personal information. So they comb through the web all over, searching many, many sites to find matches to your data. When they find an entry that does match you, they send the removal request for you so you don't have to lift a finger. With a commitment to security, Delete Me uses 256-bit AES encryption to safeguard your data. And they also enforce multi-factor authentication, and they have strict access controls, ensuring only authorized personnel handles your information. They are also compliant with GDPR and other data protection regulations. So do you want to reclaim your peace and quiet? Visit joindeleteme.com slash morse code and enter the promo code snubs for 20% off. That's joindeleteme.com slash morse code and 20% off with the coupon code snubs, spelled S-N-U-B-S. -S. And a huge, huge thank you so much to Delete Me for sponsoring this video. Okay, so RCS stands for Rich Communication Services, and it's basically the modern replacement for SMS. Think of it as texting with 
all sorts of fancy perks involved. So unlike old school SMS, which just lets you text back and forth, RCS gives you a whole bunch of special features like typing indicators. So you can see a little dot, dot, dot whenever your friends are typing, that's a part of RCS. Read receipts, that would be your little check mark whenever they open the message to read it. High resolution photos and videos. If your friend sends you a bunch of photos and videos as a bulk all at one time, those won't be all pixelated and lower quality anymore. There's also upgrades to group messaging. <laughs> group messaging will actually work. For example, I'm in a group message with my two iPhone friends and I'm on a Samsung, but we can still use reactions. We can send high quality photos, etc., etc. And now end to end encryption, which means that the messages sent between the devices, no matter which devices you have, as long as you're using RCS, they will be more secure. That's the biggest bonus of RCS and the one that took the most time to develop, which is why we're just now hearing about it. We like RCS in Android land, and for the longest time, this encryption standard did not work when you went to text people on iPhones. RCS didn't originally work securely between iPhones and Android users until now. And while we could ask everybody in our contact list to just download a third-party app, I used to use like three different apps for my different friends in like the cybersecurity community to send messages via an encrypted format, the chances of getting everyone in your life, including like your friends and your grandma and your aunts and uncles and all those people to switch over, that's gonna be hard to do. Humans are stubborn. I don't blame anybody for this. Having to use multiple messaging apps and trying to find previous messages or remember who can text you on which app, that can be frustrating and quite frankly, kind of annoying. Now, when a message is end-to-end -end encrypted, it means that only you and the person that you are texting can read it. So not Apple, not Google, not your phone carrier, not some dude on free Starbucks Wi-Fi with a Wi-Fi pineapple. Now, if you are finding this video helpful, I would love it if you could subscribe. Subscribing is the easiest and the freest way to support the videos on my channel. And it lets me figure out which videos you like and which ones you think are helpful and valuable. So the privacy with RCS in this case works by encrypting your messages on your device before they even leave and then only decrypting them on the receiver's device. So even if somebody intercepts the message mid transit, all they're gonna see is a bunch of gibberish. It won't make sense and it would be extremely hard for anybody to decrypt that data. It's kind of like you and your friends are sharing a secret handshake between your phones. And if somebody else comes in, they won't know that secret handshake. Now, for the longest time, iMessage has had end-to-end -end encryption, and apps like WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram, they also offer it. So does Google Messages. But originally, RCS did not, the original protocol, until now, and that was a huge security concern. So this update means that even if you're messaging cross-platform, your conversations are now way more secure than they were before. So no more unprotected texts flying around the internet. And when will you actually see this? this rollout on your phone? Well, Apple says that it's coming in a future software update, which probably means later this year, but we don't know for sure. That would mean iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and watch OS updates. And Google is working as quickly as possible to make this happen too, so no exact dates there yet. But if you are using Google Messages on Android, you might get it sooner than iPhone users since Google already has end-to-end -end encryption for RCS chats with their own protocol within their own ecosystem. So if that sounds confusing, no worries. Google ended up implementing their own version of RCS for their own app, but it's a different implementation from the one that's going to be used between the Androids to chat with your iPhone friendos. Now, I don't wanna go super deep into the technical details here. So if you wanna read up on the differences. I will have white papers and technical briefs and information like that down below. Now, I realize the really big concern for most people here, I am being entirely sarcastic, by the way. Will this finally convince hardcore iPhone users to stop shaming their Android friends over green bubbles? See, my friends are cool. They don't care about that. But apparently this is a thing with some people. I don't know. I don't understand it. I'm not friends with people that shame me for having a green bubble. It's just a thing. The reality the reality is RCS messages will still appear green on iPhones, at least I think they will, while iMessages stay blue. Apple has zero plans to change that, at least as far as we know at time of recording. But at least now iPhone and Android users
users can text securely without resorting to third-party apps like WhatsApp or Signal. So you won't need to keep bothering your non-techie family members or your friends to download something third-party when they're just gonna grumble about it. Sure, you will be using platforms owned by Google and Apple, and I know that that is going to be a problem for some, but this is better than no encryption whatsoever. So I have a question for you. Is this going to make you more likely to use RCS instead of a third-party app? Are you excited for this news? Do you have friends that you just never text because you have a green bubble show up in your conversation? Drop your thoughts down in the comments below. I wanna know how you feel about this and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.